Here we're going to look at placing the first digit in division problems. We'll be placing that digit in our quotient or answer. When we have this problem here, this is 378 divided by 2. We place our digit here because we can divide 300s by 2. It goes in one time. 1 times 2 is 2, 3 minus 2 is 1, and we bring down the 7. 17 divided by 2 is 8 because 8 times 2 is 16. 17 minus 16 is 1, and there's still another digit to bring down, the 8. 18 divided by 2 is 9, because 9 times 2 is 18, and 18 minus 18 is 0. So there is no remainder. 189 is our quotient, or our answer. For our check, we take our answer, 189, and multiply it by the divisor, which is 2. 2 times 9, which is 18, 8, regroup the 1, 2 times 8 is 16, plus 1 is 17, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. So our answer checks. Alright, this is what I mean when placing that first digit in the quotient. We look at the 6 in the 600s. 8 cannot go into that 600s. 6 divided by 8 would be 0. So we're going to go to that next place. And so we can look at the 7 there and put it together with the 6, so we're looking at 67. We're looking at 67 divided by 8. 67 divided by 8 is going to be 8. We'll notice that we place the 8 in that tens place because we were looking at 67 tens. 8 times 8 is 64. 67 minus 64 is 3, and we can bring down the 8. 38 divided by 8 is 4, because 4 times 8 is 32, and 38 minus 32 is 6. So our remainder is 6. Our check is just as before, where we take 84, we multiply it by 8, and we add in the remainder. So again, this is 572 divided by 7. 7 cannot go into 5. 7 can go into 57. 7 goes into 57 8 whole times, because 8 times 7 is 56. 57 minus 56 is 1. We bring down the 2, and then we divide again. 12 divided by 7, which is 1. 1 times 7, which is 7, and 12 minus 7, which is 5. So our remainder is 5. Again, our check. Add back in the remainder. And that's what we did here. We placed that first digit. 57 divided by 7 was that 8, and we, again we place the 8 right there. Here we have 631 divided by 7. 7 cannot go into 6, but 7 can go into 63. 7 goes into 63 9 whole times, so we place a 9 right there over the 3. 9 times 7 is 63. 63 minus 63 is 0, and we bring down the 1. 1 divided by 7, what should I put within my answer? A 0. 0 times 7, which is 0, and 1 minus 0, which is 1. So our remainder is 1. You'll notice right here, big step right here, and I still finish my work. 0 times 7, which is 0, and then I subtract it. Digit there digit there. Remainder 1, my check should work, and it will. Add in our remainder, 631. Here are a few for you to try. Please go ahead and divide and check your work. Place those digits in the right spot. Go ahead and hit pause. 
For that first problem, 5 cannot go into 3, 5 can go into 37, 7 whole times, 7 times 5, which is 35, 37 minus 35, which is 2, and we bring down the 8. 28 divided by 5 is 5, 5 times 5 is 25, and 28 minus 25 is 3. 3 is our remainder. Our check would be 75 times 5 plus that 3, which is 378, and that's our check. 329 divided by 6. 6 cannot go into 3. 6 can go into 32, 5 whole times. So again, that 5 should go right over that 2. 5 times 6, which is 30. 32 minus 30, which is 2. We bring down the 9. 29 divided by 6, which is 4. 4 times 6 is 24. And 29 minus 24 is 5. So our remainder is 5. Again, our check for that. <clears throat> 54 times 6 plus 5. And I'll try and fit it in right here. Um, for 2, 6 times 5 is 30, plus 2 is 32, plus 5, which does equal 329. All right, let's go ahead and review. We have 653, and we're dividing by 9. 9 cannot go into the 6 here. These 600s cannot be divided into 9 parts. The answer to 6 divided by 9 would be 0. And we don't place a zero there. We regroup so that we look at this here, and we're looking at 65 tens. 65 tens divided into nine parts, and that's seven then. You'll notice again we place that seven in the tens place because we were looking at 65 tens. Seven times nine is 63. 65 minus 63 is two. Am I done? No. What do I do next? I bring down the 3. After I bring down, I divide. So I divide by 9, our divisor. 23 divided by 9 is 2. Next step is to multiply. 2 times 9 is 18, and 23 minus 18 is 5. No more numbers to bring down, so this 5 is our remainder. Remember, the remainder can never be bigger than the divisor. To check our answer, we take 72. We multiply it by, right, 9, which was our divisor. After we do that, we have to remember to add in the remainder, in this case, which was 5. 5 plus 8 is 13. 3, regroup the 1. 1 plus 4 is 5, and that 6 is there. So it checks. So it's step by step by step.